Hello and welcome back to Money Mentor, where today we're going to look at the share price forecast for Barclay Group. Um, Barclay Group are a um, property development firm um, operated within the UK and the business is actually placed in the UK FTSE 100 um, with a market cap of 7. Point, no, 4.7 billion, correct myself there, and an enterprise value of just under 4. So actually they don't carry debt, they're actually carrying Here's what I found. spare cash. Turn that one off um, and then we can take a quick look down here at the um, Barclay, Graf Barclay Group chart uh, and it's been uh, a bit of an ups and up and down time and the recovery they had towards the end of the year, uh, the Santa rally and all that really really strong has been completely wiped away by this January's lull um, and collapse and a slight little recovery here, I'm not sure what they're doing today, down another 1.1%. So all in all not a particularly strong chart over the year 52 week high says it's 18 percent down on its high let's just have a look at a longer period let's take a look at let's go for the five years see what's happened it's not so clear three years shows incredibly strong um growth into the um, covid pandemic then lost considerable you know considerable value significant uh, price drop there and then the recovery back here but actually for the last year it's made no uh, no capital growth at all so four four three to about Four two four three there, so no uh, no capital growth for uh, shareholders there unless you bought in at exactly the right time. Looking at the value of the business, price earnings forecast of eleven point one uh, average for the industry, although the dividend yield of five point seven is strong both for the industry and market. So we'll take a look to see if they uh, are able to continue paying those uh, as and when we dig in a little bit deeper. Quality wise, it's saying it's uh, not uh, not a bad quality business. Certainly, um, returns of 14 to 15 percent on capital and equity, and a 21, 22 percent operating margin are good. Uh, health trend of seven is fairly stable. We don't need to concern ourselves with that too much. And if we look at the financial summaries, we can see revenue was significantly impacted in 2020 and in 2021, and even the forward projections don't suggest it's going to recover to its pre-pandemic 2019 figures. Taking a look at the net profit, again, uh, not as profitable now. The profits were hit significantly in 2021, and they don't think they're going to recover even in 22, 23. So it does show there's still onward uh, problems with these uh, businesses from the COVID pandemic, which are going to stretch a long way into the future. So if we take a look at the dividends, well, they're projecting they're going to pay something in 2022 uh, at seven, 2023 at five, but I just caution uh, if you were looking to buy this stock on the basis of that seven dividend, dividend cover is only 1.26. So it's they can cover it, but it's very, very tight um, and it's, uh, it's subject to, uh, to actually hitting those profit targets and maybe they won't be able to do it. That said, they could pay from debt. Um, they don't actually have any debt at the moment, so they're negative debt. So they do have cash. So at the moment, they're sat on 843 spare cash somewhere on the books. So uh, maybe that dividend is a bit more secure than perhaps we initially thought. Average shares um, they have gone up a little bit in the last month, generally trending down, which is good to see. You know, a nice, strong share buyback program in place, um, which looks like it was uh, reversed. They had to get some further cash in the last uh, in the last year. So let's take a look at what the analysis think. So 20 brokers covering it, quite a big selection of the market, and they think it is in the region of a buy, moved up slightly from what it was three months ago, so it's now a buy, and they think 5.086. So there's 19% upside for Barclay Group. So uh, are any of you uh, Barclay Group holders at the moment or thinking of doing so? Do let us know in the comments box below as always. And if you um, haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe, hit the bell and you'll be updated as and when we release further videos in this series. Thanks as always for watching and listening.